G'day everyone and welcome to Strategic Entrepreneurship. In this topic what we're going to be doing is focusing on the issue of entrepreneurial growth. Um, so we're going to look at uh, a couple of tools that might be used by entrepreneurs as a way of growing and developing their businesses from the startup phase into fully fledged viable businesses in their own right. So, so far in this unit we've really talked about startup, we've really talked about where we might go to find ideas and the different processes that we might use to generate ideas like design thinking or lateral thinking or six hat thinking which uh, was popularised by Edward de Bono. We've also talked about some of the challenges that entrepreneurs face in starting a business, um, so how they get access to the resources they need, uh, how they find access to the people, the time, the effort to actually grow and develop their business. But now what we need to do is now move beyond that sort of initial phase and think about, well, what ways can we actually grow and develop our business? Because it's all well and good to start the business, but we need to now grow the business to be a more sustainable, viable business concern. And what we're going to talk about uh, this week is two tools that are available to entrepreneurs to help them in that growth first process. The first of these tools is what's referred to as bootstrapping. So bootstrapping, um, as the name sort of implies, is really about doing things on a shoestring. It's about trying to start up and grow your business as efficiently as you possibly can, often relying on, on your own money, your own resources and your own inputs into the business as the initial stage for growing that business. There's a tendency when organisations start up to have an outward focus, to look to external investors, uh, venture capitalists, banks, financial institutions as possible sources for getting startup funding. But under the bootstrapping approach, what we're trying to do is to do things as leanly as we possibly can. So to do the startup process and the growth process using as few external res resources as we can and by, by and large relying on our own internal um, resources. So I'm going to show you a few resources that come from a range of different outlets, uh, so Entrepreneurship Magazine, uh, a couple of TED Talks, uh, also looking at uh, some resources from LinkedIn about how businesses can go about the bootstrapping process and what some of the benefits might be, you know, some of the learning that an entrepreneur actually gains from engaging in a bootstrapping process. The second tool we're going to look at um, in this topic is looking at the process of pivoting. Um, entrepreneurs from time to time need to pivot or adapt slightly their focus as a way of achieve, achieving their end state or their vision. Um, so pivoting is a term that really um, has been popular now for about five or six years. Uh, Ray's developed the idea or first coined the idea when he was putting together his ideas around the lean startup model. And it's the idea that entrepreneurs keep the same long-term vision, the same end point that they want to achieve. But to get to that, they sometimes have to make small changes or alterations to their business model, to their focus, to their strategy, as a way of actually taking that business forward so they can still achieve that end result. And in talking about pivoting, what we'll do is look at some existing businesses that have actually pivoted in their careers as a way of growing and, and developing those organisations into fully fledged businesses. So we're really going to focus here on these two approaches and what they might tell us about how entrepreneurs can grow the business. As always, if you've got any questions after reviewing this topic, please feel free to come and talk to me. I'm more than happy to run through these concepts in a bit more detail and to answer any questions that you might have. 